Europe's Strangest DNA Secret, the Basque People. For decades, the Basque people have been a mystery to scientists, especially when it comes to their language and genetic background. Their language, Euskara, doesn't sound like anything else spoken in Europe. In fact, it's not even related to any other known language in the world. That alone has made anthropologists and historians scratch their heads and wonder, who exactly are the Basques and where did they come from? Analysis of their DNA has just answered these questions, revealing Europe's strangest decades-long secret. Before we get right into it, let us know in the comments, who do you think they really are? The True Origin of the Basques One of some old theories claims that the Basque were an untouched group of ancient hunters who had somehow avoided mixing with any of the newcomers who migrated into Europe over thousands of years. According to that view, the Basques were pure descendants of the original Ice Age Europeans, living quietly in their corner of the mountains while the rest of the continent changed around them. But a 2015 study published in the PNAS journal disproved that idea. Instead of being isolated hunters from the Stone Age, the new evidence suggests that the Basques actually come from early farmers who did mix with local hunter-gatherers. After that early mixing, they became genetically isolated for thousands of years. This shift in understanding came from the work of geneticist Matthias Jacobsen and his team at Uppsala University in Sweden. They studied the DNA from eight ancient human skeletons found in El Portolón, a cave site in Atapurica, northern Spain. These skeletons date back between 3,500 and 5,500 years ago long after farming had already started to spread across southwest Europe. When Jacobson compared the DNA of these ancient people to modern-day populations, he discovered the unexpected. Those Stone Age farmers from Iberia were genetically the closest match to today's Basques. But what does that mean? It means that the Basques are not an untouched ancient group of Ice Age Europe, but rather the descendants of early farming communities who settled in the area bred with some of the original hunter-gatherers, and then became cut off from any more outside influence. Over time, while the rest of Spain and France experienced migrations, invasions, and cultural blending, the Basques stayed relatively isolated in their mountain homeland. That's most likely why they've held on to such unique traditions, genes, and a language that seems to exist in its own world. Carrying out more DNA analysis, the study showed that these early Iberian farmers weren't homegrown. They were part of a massive migration wave that started in the Near East about 7,000 years ago. These groups traveled across Europe, bringing with them agriculture and a completely new way of life. As they moved into places like Germany, Hungary, and Spain, they met the local hunter-gatherers who had lived there since the Ice Age. What's interesting is that the people from El Portolón had more hunter-gatherer DNA than any other early farmers found in Central and Northern Europe. This suggests that in Iberia, the mixing between farmers and local hunters may have been more balanced and prolonged. And it is this unique mixing, combined with isolation, that helps explain why the Basques ended up being so genetically distinct from their modern neighbors. Genetic Isolation of the Basques once the early farmers and local hunter-gatherers mixed and formed what would eventually become the Basque gene pool, something unusual happened. They got cut off from the rest of Europe. Not literally walled off, but isolated enough, thanks to the rugged geography of their mountain homeland and their strong cultural identity, that they remained genetically distinct for thousands of years. This isolation is a huge part of why the Basques still stand out so much today both in language and DNA. As Professor Matthias Jacobson explained in an interview with the BBC, it's hard to pin down exactly how or why they stayed so separate. But the historical records point to one major reason. This region was extremely difficult to conquer. While much of Europe saw waves of new people moving in, bringing with them different languages, ideas, and DNA, the Basque region stayed relatively untouched. One of the biggest migrations that invoices the genetic makeup of Europe happened during the Bronze Age. That's when pastoralist groups from the steppe region, way out east near modern-day Ukraine and southern Russia, 
started spreading out. These groups didn't just bring their animals and tools. They also brought Indo-European languages that would eventually dominate most of the continent. Their genetic influence can still be seen in modern French, German, and even Spanish people. But when researchers looked at Basque DNA, they found something strange. That Eastern genetic input wasn't there. The Basques had somehow missed the genetic wave that swept across most of Europe. Hunter-gatherer DNA in modern Europeans Another historical event that changed the DNA of the Iberian Peninsula came in 711 AD, when Muslim armies crossed the Strait of Gibraltar and began their centuries-long rule over Spain. That long period of Muslim influence left behind some genetic footprints in modern Spanish people, small traces of North African and even Sub-Saharan ancestry. But once again, those traces are nearly absent in the Basque population. There's another European group that's also known for being genetically distinct, the Sardinians. Studies show that Sardinians are genetically very similar to Europe's first farmers. Like the Basques, they too became isolated after the agricultural revolution swept across Europe. But while the Sardinians stayed close to their farmer roots, they didn't get that same dose of hunter-gatherer ancestry that the Basques did. One of the more fascinating ironies in all of this is that even though the earliest farmers in Europe originally came from the Near East, from places like Turkey and the Fertile Crescent, the people living in those regions today are genetically quite different from those ancient pioneers. Over time, the Near East itself got hit with waves of migration and mixing, which reshaped its genetic makeup. So now, the people who live where agriculture first began don't necessarily resemble the farmers who brought that way of life to Europe. Across Europe, the amount of hunter-gatherer DNA still existing varies from place to place. In some northern areas, like Estonia and Lithuania, it peaks around 30%. But no one today is a pure hunter-gatherer, or even a pure anything, really. Those early groups were eventually outnumbered by the farming populations who spread out from the Near East. Now, genetic studies have revealed that the Basque people share a lot in common with other European populations, especially with the Spaniards. In fact, over 70% of their genetic identity is shared with Spanish people, both from the Spanish and French sides of the Basque region. A detailed study conducted in May 2010, using high-density SNP genotyping, found that while the Basques are genetically distinct in some ways, there's still a strong genetic connection to their neighbors. When scientists examined the Y-DNA haplogroups, which traced the direct male lineage, they found that most Basques share common ancestry with other Western Europeans. Most of them belong to the haplo R1b DF27, which has been present in the region for thousands of years, and about 70% of modern Basques carry this genetic marker. How the Basques preserved their genetic identity. At first, scientists thought this haplogroup could be a sign of very ancient Paleolithic ancestry. But more recent research suggests that R1b actually spread through Western Europe much later, during the Neolithic period, around 8,000 to 4,000 years ago. The Basque version of this haplogroup, R1b DF27, is thought to have arrived 4,200 years ago, around the transition from the Neolithic to the Bronze Age. While this haplogroup is found in high frequencies among the Basques, the genetic diversity within this group is somewhat low, and this means that it may have been brought to the region from elsewhere. Apart from the R1b haplogroup, the Basques also show traces of other genetic influences. High frequencies of haplogroup E-V65 were found in some Basque provinces, especially in Alava, Biscay, and Gipuzkoe. This haplogroup is typically associated with regions like the Maghreb in North Africa, Italy, and parts of Spain, and its presence in Basque populations show some ancient connections with these areas. A 2019 study published in Science further explored the genetic history of Iberian populations, including the Basques. The study found that the Basques today closely resemble populations from the Iron Age. 
so they have been isolated from other groups for over 3,000 years. Unlike the rest of Iberia, which experienced a lot of genetic mixing during this time with people from Central Europe, the Celts, the Eastern Mediterranean, Phoenicians, Greeks, and Romans, Northern Africa, Carthaginians and Mauritanians, and Northern Europe, Goths and Franks. The Basques remain largely unaffected by these outside influences. This isolation helped preserve their distinct genetic identity. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the genetic mystery of the Basques, how they were an isolated European group with a language unlike any other, and how their DNA predates Indo-European migrations, then hit the like button to stay updated on our more ancient history and recent mind-blowing DNA analysis on these ancient people. Then subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next videos.